87-year-old Thomas O'Halloran has been identified as the victim of a brutal stabbing in Greenford on August the 16th. Police were called at 4.02pm, they said in a statement, to reports of a man with a stab wound in Caton Road next to the busy A40 in Greenford. Police arrived with the London Ambulance Service and also the Air Ambulance and they found an elderly man they believed to be in his 80s at the time with multiple stab wounds. Despite the best efforts of the paramedics, he died at the scene. In the statement, the London Ambulance Service said they were called at 10 past 4 to reports of the incident at Runnymead Gardens in Greenford. They sent resources to the scene that included the ambulance and a medic in a fast car and they also dispatched the air ambulance. Detective Chief Inspector Jim Eastwood from the Metropolitan Crime Command said, My officers are working to understand what happened and we need the public's assistance. I'm asking for anybody with dash cam or cycle helmet footage to contact us if there was in the Western Avenue A40 area in the proximity of Caton Road and Welland Gardens between quarter past three and quarter past four p.m. The elderly victim who was riding on a mobility scooter was in the area at the time and the police asked if you saw the victim to make contact. Sean Wilson from the Metropolitan Police in Ealing said, This is an awful incident that will understandably shock a lot of people and we are working around the clock to try to resolve what has happened. A large cordon remains in place and police are making urgent inquiries and an image has been released by the police of a male carrying a knife leaving the scene as well and they want to speak to this man and they believe he may be involved. I do want to point out as well that Sky News interviewed somebody who said that the man was surrounded by teenagers at the time that he died. And this, I feel, made people believe that teenagers were involved in this. But now as the case has developed, it seems that that may not be the case. Maybe these teenagers gathered after he was injured and people made assumptions initially because the police are not looking for any teenagers. Who lives at the end of this road, which appears to show the aftermath of this attack. In the footage, you can see a man on a mobility scooter uh, coming from the alleyway where police believe uh, the attack happened. They say uh, Mr. O'Halloran uh, flagged down a member of the public to ask for help. A member of the public can be seen uh, in clearly in distress. In relation to more information about the victim, a video has emerged of Thomas O'Halloran. They said he was a busker and he used to play an accordion to raise money for Ukrainian refugees. And neighbours have told the Evening Standard newspaper that he was a popular local busker and a very kind man. They confirmed his age as 87 and his killer fled the scene and nobody has been arrested as of yet. But this is the sixth homicide in four days in London. A neighbour called Frasley Coutinho told the newspaper that I saw a couple of people gathering around him and then he drove past and stopped further up the road. There was a group of young boys there. A shop owner called Hitish Patel, who worked nearby, told the Evening Standard newspaper that he always had a Ukraine flag on the front of his basket and it said, help Ukraine. He went on to say that he always saw him driving up the A40 on his scooter and his wife was usually with him. It is believed that he's Irish and had three sons and the neighbours are very devastated at the news that has emerged. Another neighbour called Simran Advani, 25 years old, said we always used to see him on his mobility scooter. My children loved him. He was very entertaining and very kind. It's scary that a man in his 80s can be stabbed to death in the street in this way. Forensic experts were seen loading bags into police vans as dozens of police guarded the murder scene yesterday. A cordon had been thrown around the site of residential semi-detached houses that overlooked Clayton, Clayton Road and Runnymede Gardens. Chief Superintendent Sean Wilson went on to say that Mr O'Halloran's life was taken away needlessly in an unprovoked attack. I understand the community will quite rightly be shocked and appalled by the incident. Mr O'Halloran was a very well-known person and much loved in the community. My thoughts are with his family and friends and I'd like to appeal for their privacy to be respected during this time. There will be extra patrols in the local area over the coming days to try to reassure the public and they realise the impact that this does have. And this is one of them stories that it's just like, what do you say? What do you even say when somebody is murdering an old person? Anybody for that matter is not able to defend himself. And it shows, I feel, like a lack of empathy remorse and also respect for the elders however generic that sounds as a statement and i referenced this other story from birmingham very recent from the 17th of august it shows cctv of the moment that an old man is beaten with a chain in birmingham his name is roy muller he's 76 years old and he and he managed to defend himself but at the same time he did suffer some injuries
the incident was caught on doorbell footage and it showed the moment that he wrestled with the teenagers and ended up getting assaulted. The footage shows him being hit with a weapon, kicked and repeatedly punched in the face in Great Bar, Birmingham, last Thursday. He was trying to detain one of the youngsters, he said, and the second one ran up and kicked him, and his glasses fell off his face. Mr. Muller lives alone and suffered a heart attack last year, and he said the police have failed to act after he was targeted by up to 14 youths on a daily basis, and he said that he's scared to leave his home, and he's written to the Chief Constable David Thompson in a last-ditch attempt to try to get help. He said it has slowly escalated and he doesn't know what to do or where it's going to end. He said it began with them banging on my door and shouting abuse and they throw stones at my house. It's all a laugh to them. On occasion, I'd come out and thought I'd try to detain them, but it was a silly idea because they was armed. They had a metal chain and a dog lead and they hit me with it and luckily I wasn't too hurt. He said he was told by the police that due to the fact they were wearing masks, it's virtually impossible that they will find them. He said he has no reason why they singled him out and the spokesman from West Midlands Police said they are investigating reports after the, uh, after the accusations of an assault of a man in his 70s. They understand how distressing it is and are trying to safeguard the man as well. So this man is literally being bullied in his own area and sadly nobody seems to be able to stick up for him like neighbours aren't seeming to do so, the community and definitely the police as well. Because the only way people will stop doing something is if people come together and condemn it and say that this isn't right. So I thought these stories were both important and I really want to send my respects and pay tribute to Thomas O'Halloran. And please pay respects in the comments as well. I really want to hear what people have to say on this story and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you. Here we go, ready? Wish me luck. <laughs>